Jeremy Kendall from Jeffersonville, Indiana. I uh, play point guard, shooting guard. Basketball started for me at a young age. Um, dad put the ball in my hands probably when I was five or six. Um, and he just began just coaching me. Uh, he coached me in you know, youth basketball and gave me ball handling drills to work on and was always around after work trying to help me with my shot and uh, just spent a little bit of time um, with me on the court. Who's next to flip on that cat with that grip on rap? The most shady. Yeah. Frankie, baby. Hi, I'm Nick Wheeler from Wheeler Motor Company. We're a proud sponsor of the Canterbury Rams. One of the main reasons we sponsor the Rams is so I can relive my youth through sponsorship. We've been a sponsor from the start and it's been great to see the advancements in the game and in the Canterbury basketball since they've started in the community. The community spirit with the Canterbury Rams is amazing, from their grassroots teaching of school children all the way through to the top levels. There's not many sports in the world where you'd find the top players in the country working with five and six year olds all the way through to adults. It's not just for the highest level of basketball. My advice to the youth playing the game of basketball and something that uh, Coach Davenport told us at Bellarmine every day is, is use the game of basketball and never let it use you. And what that means is a lot of people think that basketball, their gifts and talents should be used for their own glory and for their own namesake. And, um, you know, I truly believe that you should use the game to, to make others around you better. Uh, at the end of the day, it's going to end for us all. It's going to end for LeBron James. It ended for Kobe Bryant last season. It ended for MJ. It's going to end for Steph Curry and all the greats. But um, if you truly use the game of basketball, you work hard, you walk by faith, um, you use it to make people around you better on and off the court, um, that's truly what's going to separate you from being good and, and, and being great. Um, because there's a lot of good players out there who have extremely um, high motors, they're very talented, athletic, they can jump high, run fast. But what separates the good from the great is the great players always make those around them better. Um, in every facet of life, on and off the court. So my sophomore year in high school, I was, I was told by the head varsity coach that um, that I'd never play varsity basketball. Um, I was a very late bloomer, I grew late, uh, matured late. So when I was about 15, 16 years old, I was still only like 5'6", 140 pounds, slow. Um, this wasn't very good to be uh, quite frank. And um, that off season, I grew like six inches and really worked on my game and worked on my strength and conditioning. and. And I ended up starting varsity the very next season. So I had to overcome a bit of um, uh, doubt from the people, the coaching staff and uh, my peers. And um, then I ended up breaking my foot my senior year in high school and, and played uh, half the season on a broken foot. Only had two small college offers out of high school and I ended up going to junior college. In my first three years of college, I didn't play at all. Um, because of injuries and um, you know two surgeries later a uh, couple screws in my left foot broke my foot a couple times uh, a couple different occasions and I ended up somehow by the grace of God finding my way to Bellarmine University and um, that's where I played three healthy um, good seasons of basketball and we won a national championship and um, you know I owe so much to coach Davenport and his staff and that community and that university for everything that I, that I learned and got to experience on and off the court. Kicking 
through the door, waving the 4-4. All you heard was Papa, don't hit me no more. Kick in the door, waving the 4-4. All you heard was Papa, don't hit me no more. Kick in the door, waving.